Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. You know, you're educating yourself. You're becoming aware of all the things around you, your surroundings. You're embracing your gifts in all aspects and levels of your life, which is truly a blessing. So you keep showing shining and keep going and with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards the positive direction also if you feel like the video is giving you good information or even good vibes you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or a fellow empath that's going through some really trying times right now please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you once again for the love and support you've been giving giving me the chance on my channel as well as in me is greatly appreciated and i love you from the bottom of my heart and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today, this powerful meditation I'm listening to is called Triangle of Life, Sun, Earth, and Moon um, Meditation, 7.83 Hertz and Binary Beats, Isochronic Tones, Frequencies, and I'll post the link in the description box below. It's very powerful. I feel it right here in my heart chakra. I'm like, ooh. Um, Today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey Okas, if you under if you can understand the magnitude of your blessings, you will see why everything is so hard. Y'all, I know you're tired of going through these things just as well as I am. You preaching to the choir. I know I'm preaching to the choir. I'm like, girl, what you say? What did you say? I'm telling you, I'm tired too. <laughs> you know, I'm going through the same things like y'all are. Ready to pull my hair out, ready to fight. And I'm just, I'm tired. I'm tired. You know, going through all these different shifts going through these different, you know, different mood swings. It makes me feel like I'm pregnant or something. You know, if you're a female and you've been pregnant before, you already know your hormones are all out of whack. You're hot one minute, you're cold one minute, you're up under the covers freezing, you're t throwing the covers off because it's too daggone hot, hotter than fish grease. You know, you cry one minute, laughing the next, and you know, people going to be trying to see if you need some medication or something. But it's just like we're going through these things for a specific reason. Like I have to tell myself as well as others, you know, God puts his toughest, strongest soldiers through the hardest battles. He does. We were handpicked. We signed up for this millions of years ago. Even though you're like, Rosa, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. <laughs> a million years ago. You probably just don't remember. You, I mean, you were a badass back in the day. You know what I'm saying? You were handling your stuff. And you picked the family. You picked the fit, friends. You have picked the surroundings. And you said... Okay, they showed you the, you know, your future and say, look, this is what you got to deal with, and gave you a little card, made you sign all these things and all that, you know, three, three, three. When I said that, but it, it's just like if you know, you've been working on yourself. You know, there's things that you want in your life to better yourself, better your surroundings, live a better life. You know, you're probably trying to move out of a house. You're trying to get this better job. You're trying to open up your own business, trying to open up your own store, own restaurant, trying to get you a new car. You know, we're all manifesting things using the laws of attraction. But it seems like you do not get a break. Trust me, I know. When it's too quiet, you got to be like, oh, Lord, what's going on? because <laughs> it's too daggone quiet I know something about to pop off and you have to feel that way but if you knew the things that you're praying for like I have to keep telling myself you know all the things that's going on in your life you understand why things got to be that hard you know and I, I be trying to agree with myself like you know these reason why you're going through so much hell you know why you're going through all this because of everything you're going to have to run up against when you finally get something in your life it's going to be crazy so it's just like you know you know what you're trying to aim towards and you're like you can get frustrated you know but universe and god creators the source they have to put you in different obstacles to see how bad you want what you want in life are you going to give up as soon as things get hard when thing you get need up and cow poop 
you know, are you just going to run? You know, when they see that you are not giving up, you know, you might cry, you might get frustrated and say, you know what, I'm taking a break. I'm done. I'm done for today. <laughs> and that's all you got to say. I'm done for today. That's what you need to tell yourself because you already know if there is, if there is one day you can't go without thinking about the things you want, you know that's for you. You know it's for you, but it's just like the things we want in life is not going to be easy. You're going to have to go through hell and high water to get to it. You're going to have to look at the things that you keep holding on into your life. You can't keep holding on to dark times if you want the light to come to you. You can't. And I have to tell my, myself that all the time. I can't sit up here and dwell on the things that people have put me through. The hurt I've dealt with, the pain that I endured. I have to be able to let those things go. Even though I might be good on certain aspects and in certain things is like a thir thir uh, thorn on my side. So I had to really tell myself, you know, this is so simple. And it just seems like when it, it could be the most easiest thing for you to just let go. And it's just like that ego wants to bring it up. But you remember, oh, heifer, shut up. I have to tell her that sometime. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> okay. I know what happened. You ain't got to bring it up. Why are you bringing up old stuff? I know this happened. You ain't got to tell me. I've been there. Trust me. I was there with you. You know, so I got to tell her to shut up because I'm done. You know, I'm tired of thinking about stuff like that. That stuff make me upset. Even, you know, if we're, me and my friends are talking when I do talk to people, you know, if we're trying to release and stuff like that, you know, I tell, you know, any, any of y'all, y'all talk to me, I don't ever want you to ever feel like if you have a long, drawn out paragraph, you want to tell me. If it makes you feel better to tell me what you tell me, I mean, I feel blessed and privileged when you are willing to open up and tell me your life story about the things you have went through, because that's what that's what I'm here for. If I'm not learning off of you, I'm teaching. If I'm not teaching, I'm showing awareness. If I'm not awareness, not showing awareness, I'm learning, you know, and I'm also a guide to help towards everybody as you're guiding me I'm guiding you so it's just like all these things I'm going through you know I want to be a motivational speaker I want to be able to you know create all these different things for you know people who are going through domestic violence you know people children foster children and just children they're born into their families be able to deal with their their uh, abuse growing up because that can really mess you up mentally to where when you finally do get out to the world things are going to be messed up you know what I'm saying because we have been programmed for so long being able to get women that have been in domestic you know domestic issues for so long I want to be able to have me up my own building to be able to help these women basically start all over again you know to where they can learn how to be by themselves learn how to do things on their own because if you're programmed and you got somebody that you deal with even with men too but it's just like if I get me a building it's like men gonna be on one side women gonna be on another building I ain't about to play that you know because you, you never know those folks be off kind of off because we you know if you've been through some stuff like that it, it don't send you to some places you're not proud to be at so it's just like I want to be able to do these things. So with me being able to want to do stuff like this, I know I'm gonna to have to go through hell and high water because this is what I love to do, and I always wanted to do this. I used to tell my parents, you know, I want to be able to help people with domestic violence because I see my family go through it for years. You know, everybody, nobody knows about what goes on behind closed doors when it comes to families. Only you know. You know what I'm saying? What goes on in your family until you able to open that up, and it's just like with me. I am an open book to a certain extent about the things I go through. I let you know what I go through for a certain extent just to be able to help you out. Other things I just keep to myself. But it's just like when we're going through all these different things and you know how bad you want something in life, do not give up on it when stuff gets hard. Because if, it, if it's too easy, it's not going to last and then you might get bored after it. Me, I got ADD. I, 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 I get bored real quick. If I do a routine every day, that same thing. I'm like, look, now, this is just boring to me. I, I mean, it's not really getting me anywhere. I got to find something else to do. You know, so I love what I do. You know, if I got to take a break, it seems like the higher I get in my elevation, my levels, that just like where I'm receiving all these different things that's coming up where it's kind of crazy. You know, like freaky crazy, like not saying I'm crazy, but I'm just like, you want me to talk about what? We're having what? Come on. Oh, Jesus take the wheel 
<laughs> he was like, I did. That's why I gave it to you. I gave you the map. <laughs> He's like, I'm driving. So it's just like when we're going through all these things, trust and believe in yourself. Trust and believe in the universe that you're going to get this, you know, and it's going to be when you least expect it. So know when your stuff is hard, that lets you know the things you're praying for. You're not going to get just the things you pray for. You're going to get things on top of that. Just because of look at the, the, at the trials and tribulations you're going through. There are so many people I've seen that told me, Roz, and I just pray for this. And then the next, you know, I got this and this and this and this. and this. You won't even be able to grasp the concept of the things that you are going to be receiving in your life. So, of course, it's going to be hard. I have to tell myself that all the time. I had to be able to have tough skin because the things that I'm doing, especially on the channel, I get folks coming at me crazy all the time. And now it's just like I laugh it off and just delete the daggone message. I ain't got time. I'm about to sit up here. And waste my damn energy on people I ain't even, you, you know, I'm not about to start a pot with you. I'm going to just let you do that by yourself. But keep going. Keep believing in yourself. Know that you will get the things that you have been praying for. Know that you're going to get the things that you have manifest. You know, there's going to be doubt. There's going to be questions. It's like, how long am I going to have to go through this? You, you, I have to tell myself that all the time, especially if you're in a stressful situation. It don't make you want stuff right now. And just because you want it right now, God ain't going to give it to you right now because you don't feel like you're ready. Because you're wanting them for the wrong reasons. You want it because you're ready to get away from the situations with trust. I know that feeling oh so well. I have to look at it every day. <laughs> but let me like, Lord, I'm ready to go. But see, I have to go through all these different trials and tribulations. Learning things I need to know. And these are just all the beautiful things I want to be able to bring awareness towards people that have been through so much to be able to open their eyes and be able to have that strength and confidence within themselves. Whatever you're aiming towards will be for you. Don't have and I have to tell myself, you know, there's people people with their dirty ass hands trying to make sure I don't get the things that I need. And I'm just like, you know what? God's gonna give me whatever is supposed to be for me anyway. They can't stop it. You know, no matter what they feel like they want to do. They're not going to be able to stop it, you know, so I just keep doing these, making these videos, bringing, you know, awareness to you, bring whatever lesson or knowledge they want me to send you. They were like, because I was just talking to somebody and then all of a sudden I heard the magnitude of your blessings, the magnitude of your blessings. So it's just like when you know you want something big in your life, you, you got to be prepared to get your knees dirty, your hands dirty and be prepared to know that you are going to go through some hell and high water just to be able to get it. So, you know, when you finally get the things that you want in life, you're going to look up and you're going to see your life and everything you had to go through just to get to the point you are then. And you're going to be glad you went through it because it made you stronger, wiser, and it wised you up in ways that, you know, you weren't being able to do before. Because, some, you know, with us being empaths, we have that heart to try to see the goodness in everybody. And sometimes we get played for a fool at times. But it's like you don't be hard on yourself about that because there was a lesson in every single person that you come across. So know that things happen for a reason. Know that when you your stuff is coming towards you, you have to believe and not to tell myself that. Believe. Because you know when things are starting to come up and get crazy. Because like I told you, when you're coming up on blessings... Folks will start coming back from your past. Like, hey, you know, I had a phone call today. Hell to the no, I'm not answering that phone. Nope, mm -mm, nope, bye. You can ring, ring, whatever. I'm not about to answer. I'll be like, uh, Kalani. I'm like, you can ring, ring, ring all you want to. It ain't about to ring no more because I ain't about to answer. You know, so it's just like you keep going. And you know when you're on the right path because you'll, you'll get haters. You have people coming at you acting stupid. They will pick a fight with you or an argument. Just for no apparent reason, they could pick an argument with anybody else, but they chose to pick one with you. Don't allow them to push you. Don't allow them to move no mountains because, you know, you got a mission to go on, and that's a distraction. So I hope you were able to, you know, get something out of this. Many blessings to everybody. You know, take your time with yourself. Be gentle. Be patient and just believe and have faith. And things will come for you. And know that whatever kind of hating folks that you got in, on your back, whatever's for you, they're not going to be able to stop. So keep that in mind. So my post notification shout outs go to Sydney and much love to you, girl, Mimi and Silky J86. Much love to y'all. Many blessings. Uh, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line and let me know if you're going through these things right now. And, you know, share the video. Give me a thumbs up.
and I'll see you on my next video. So as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you're truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved. No one there's always someone out there praying for you better days. Much love, peace, and be wild.